this is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do if your dog is choking and how to properly perform the Heimlich. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I really love for you to check out my new free ebook and three free videos on a great way to start with natural healing with your dogs or cats. You can click the link further in the box below for more information. So do you know what to do if your dog is choking? They're having difficulty breathing, maybe you've done something, you've thrown them a ball. Most pet owners don't. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact steps to take. So you guys, we're joined by Pippi here, who was pretty happy to come over. She loves food, seems to like me. Hope you guys like her in the video. So how are you going to know if your dog is choking? You know, most commonly, you know, your dog is just eating something. Or as I just said earlier, you've thrown something like a, a ball. And I mean, it's obvious. They're having difficulty breathing. And they're making sort of a loud kind of almost a wheezing noise. They're trying to draw air in through their nose or mouth into their lungs and they can't. Or this sort of reverse gagging sound like they're trying to expel something and they can't. Your dog may even be unconscious if it's gone to the point where they've gone, you know, up to a minute without without having any air oxygen wise. So that might be just lying there, not even non-responsive. So the first thing, if your dog is lying there non-responsive, is just making sure, you know, is are they breathing at all first? You know, just put your hand in front of their nose, right? Do you feel any air moving in and out? You, know, you can also just put your hand in the side of your dog's chest. You know, can you at least feel their chest moving up and down? If your dog is non-responsive, they're lying there, they're not moving, I want you to do two mouth to nose respirations to see if any air is gonna pass into the lungs and to see if the airway is really obstructed. So to do the rescue breaths, what you're doing is putting your hand around your dog's muzzle, your mouth over top of her nose, and you're gonna put blow two breaths and see if air goes through her nose into their lungs and that their chest rises. Well, Pippi. Good news, Pippi's not obstructed. She has a very wet nose. If not, then you can assume that they're, they're completely obstructed, they're not breathing, and you need to somehow open up that airway, relieve that obstruction. The next thing is then putting your hand into their mouth, doing a sweep of the mouth, seeing if you can really feel that obstruction and pull it out, or at least you know confirm, yeah, there's definitely something in there that needs to come out. So with one hand, you're gonna grab the top of the muzzle, We'll do it on this side so you guys can see better. On um, the other hand, just pull the jaw open. Then I want, want to put your, your forefinger, your index finger in there and sweep at the back of the throat. See if you can feel anything in there. Grab onto it, potentially pull it out. You know, maybe like a piece of sausage, a stick, or even a ball, for instance. If the airway is still not open, there's no air moving, then you're gonna to have to go to perform the Heimlich. So with the Heimlich, you're trying to put pressure on the upper abdomen, the upper part of the stomach, that's gonna put pressure on the diaphragm, they'll actually put additional force to try to expel that foreign body that's lodged in the back of the throat. So here's Pippi's upper stomach, in here where my left hand is. Her diaphragm runs sort of just underneath the last part of the ribs, along in here. And what I want you to do is sort of grab two hands together, and what you're gonna do one way is where your dog is lying on his, on his or her side or you know, lying on the side, but on the ground where you're not able to pick them up. And what you're wanting to do is you wrap your hands together and we're trying to make an upwards force. So up towards your body and slightly up towards your dog's head. So if you can imagine this up pushing noise, because we're trying to get a lot of force. It takes substantial force. If there's something obstructing that airway, you need to get a lot of force on that abdomen on that diaphragm to expel that foreign body. So you're gonna pull up and in, up towards your body, and slightly forward towards your dog's head. And you're, you can actually feel Pippi making that bit of that grunting noise. So that's one way, a dog that's too big to pick up, you're unable to pick them up. And that's something that you're gonna repeat four to five times. And then if you think something's come out, check to do two rescue breaths like we did earlier to see if air is flowing. If it's not flowing, you wanna repeat it again. The next thing would be if you've got a smaller to medium sized dog that you're able to lift up, even a larger dog if you can. We're trying to use gravity to help sort of get that foreign body out of your dog's mouth, along with putting, doing the Heimlich, putting force 
on that abdomen to help in the diaphragm to ex yeah, expel that object. Let's see how this goes with Pippi. Okay, Pipster. So, first of all, if you imagine that Pippi is choking, she wouldn't quite be struggling. So you're, what you're gonna wanna do is hold your dog upside down with their back against your body, kind of like this. Okay, Pippi. Oh, God. <laughs> Take two. Okay. So you're gonna put force <laughs> Pippi on their abdomen here. You're gonna pull towards your body and push down towards their head. You know, doing that five times with both your hands together. You're at one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that wasn't necessarily the best demonstration, but I think you get the sense. Um, or you're holding them up against your body, you know, if they're limp because they're not breathing, you're not gonna have a dog that's fighting like that. Then you're putting those, you know, five um, abdominal compressions um, to try to expel that foreign body again. And then you're, you're gonna check again, doing two rescue breaths to see if it's come out. Hopefully you're gonna see something like, you know, this ball popping out, you know, you've done your job. So just a little recap. First, check to, if your dog is non-responsive, check to see if they're breathing first, if air is flowing um, in through their mouth, in through, into their lungs. It may that they don't have an obstruction, you don't need to go rush right away to the Heimlich. Second, you know, you're gonna use your fingers, opening their mouth, doing a sweep, see if you can feel that foreign body at the back of their throat. If you can feel it, but you can't remove it, then you need to proceed to the Heimlich, which we just discussed, either with your dog lying on his or her side, and you're gonna, you know, put, pressure on the upper stomach, the upper abdomen to expel it, and or holding them upside down or using you know, the force of gravity to help you know, expel that foreign object while you're also putting pressure on the upper abdomen to try to expel it. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. I'd love for you to click up there to subscribe to my channel. Click down there to like this video. And then I'd love for you to click the link further in the box below and then when you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.